Hey you guys, it's Tanya. <laughs> What's going on? So, about a year ago maybe? Maybe not. I'm not really sure of the timeline. I probably should have done the research before this video, but I didn't, so I apologize. But um, a while back, I did a product review on the Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner, okay? And I'm not really sure why, but lately it's been getting lots of um, comments, so I've been responding to them. And um, again, I don't know if it's being populated through YouTube. I, I don't really know how that works, but I've been getting, like I said, lots of comments recently that I've been responding to. Well, there was one comment where apparently somehow I missed it, and there was a gentleman asking me about this product and he made the comment about how he doesn't wash his hair. And I was like, what? And so I kept reading and in his mind he felt that um, the washing the hair was too harsh. And I understand that. So I kind of wanted to do like a, a hair, I'm, I, I guess you could say I'm restarting or kickstarting, whatever. My one-on-one -on -one videos. Remember in college, or if you didn't go to college, or if you're going to college soon, um, the entry level for courses is 100. So you take English one-on-one, -on -one or m not math, because it wouldn't just be math, but maybe like Spanish one-on-one. -on -one. And then as you advance in skills, you go to higher levels. So you'll take like English 201 and, and 301 and such and such. So we're going to call this, again, resuming the Hair 101 series. So Hair 101, why you should wash your hair. And I have one disclaimer, okay? My disclaimer for this video is there are always, always exceptions to the rule, okay? So you might know someone that is an exception or you might be the exception, but for the general population, this video is for you, okay? So... Question number one, why do I have to wash my hair? And we're going to get into that in some serious detail. I will try my best to limit this to 10 minutes, but I don't have a timer on me, so we're just going to have to wing it. Okay, let's get started. Just like your body, your hair, or should I say your scalp, sweats, it sheds dead cells, um, and hair grows. Any place that you have hair on your body, you need to clean because those areas are more prone to trap in odor, okay? On top of that, just like with your body, you wash your hair to clean it, just like you wash your body to clean it. Soaps have certain ingredients in them which help to strip that dirt away easily so that you are removing that dirt from your body which is going to help your hair grow okay all right so let's let's first talk about shampoos and I don't really know that much about co-washes so I'm not going to speak on co-washes I prefer to only speak about things that I know about so that I come off as intelligent um, I have not done the research about co-washes. I don't really like co-washes, so I've never really tried to, to learn more about co-washes. I will, but right now, we're going to leave that for a different day, okay? All right, because I want to give you knowledge, and I want to give you accurate information. I don't want to just wing my way through this tutorial or through a video. I want to know what I'm talking about and be secure in that. Okay, so how do I start this off? Okay, I got it. Let me grab, you know, and I don't really have anything in my, oh, I do, I do. Okay, hold on. So, this is Dax pressing oil, okay? I use this when I flatter my hair because when I put this on my hair, it keeps my hair from going back to curly because basically this is pure oil. <laughs> and when I say oil, it's petroleum. Petroleum is the first ingredient, okay? So when I put this on my hair and I press my hair, it coats my hair so that moisture cannot get to my hair, okay? That's what helps the hair stay straight for long periods of time because there's no way moisture can get to it 
to start making the, cur the curl pattern revert back, okay? Again, this has petroleum as its number one ingredient. When you use products like this on your hair, products that have petroleum, products that have mineral oil, you have got to use a specific kind of shampoo to remove this product, okay? When you put products like this on your hair, and then when you put products not like this, when you put something like the Jamaican black castor oil, okay, which is a leave-in, you're going to get some type of buildup on your hair. It's inevitable. We're all going to get buildup. So the reason why you wash your hair is to remove that buildup. If you don't remove that buildup, two things are going to happen. Number one, your scalp is going to be covered with a product like this that may inhibit your growth. Okay? So that's the first thing, is that this may inhibit your growth because you have now put a seal over your scalp that has not been removed because you're not washing your hair. Second thing that can happen, you're also putting product on your hair, okay? If you're not removing that and giving your hair time to breathe, you could technically be killing your hair shaft. And a lot of people are like, well, my hair is dull, my hair looks lifeless, it's dry, it's so dry it's breaking off. Well, it's because you're not allowing your hair to get the moisture that it needs. You're always keeping it, it's, it's covered with buildup. So it can't breathe, so it's drying out because it's not getting the moisture it needs, and it's breaking off. So you want to wash your hair on a regular basis, especially the hair around the scalp. Now, I know people don't like to wash their hair because they say it dries their hair out, and that can happen, which is why you need to know what the ingredients are in your shampoo. I have three shampoos that I use. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is my Hydrothermal Naturals Amino Plus Protein Deep Conditioner. I use this when I am going to wear my hair straight or if I need to clarify. The reason why I use this is because it has, I don't know why, you guys, I'm sorry, I grabbed the wrong thing and I'm not going to get up and go get it. So we're going to pretend that this is actually the um, clarifying shampoo. And I knew better. Again, I don't know why I grabbed this. That is too funny. Once again, not paying attention to detail. Let's try this again, because I'm not going to redo this video. All right, so the first, one of the ones I use is the Herbal Amino Clarifying Shampoo. This actually has sodium lauryl sulfate in it. Sulfates are strong enough to remove buildup on your hair, but sulfates are, are also very harsh and strong. So if you use this on a regular basis, you're going to strip your hair and dry it out. So I use this literally once every six weeks, okay? That's it. That's all I need it for. Now, depending on your hair type, you may need this more or you may need this less. But you, this is what you, you want to use a clarifier to remove the buildup off of your scalp and off of your hair, okay? And clarifiers typically have sulfates in them because that's going to strip those things off your hair. In case your hair is colored, color treated, this is going to remove the color from your hair. So again, you do, you do not want to use this for normal wash because anything with sulfates in it is going to strip your hair. Okay? So, I use this clarifier every six weeks. Next, the things I use weekly. I alternate between these two. My Hydrothermal Naturals SLS free, so no sulfates, shampoo, and my Aveda um, moisturizing shampoo. I love both of these shampoos. If I'm going to do flat twist or twist, I'm going to use this one for the most part. If I'm going to do wash and goes, I'm going to use this one because it makes my curls pop. But neither one of these have sulfates. They're going to clean your hair, but they're going to clean your hair and they're going to clean your scalp very gently, which is what you want, okay? But you have got to clean your hair. Um, think about how, let's say that you never cleaned, okay, let's just say you never washed your hand. Let's say for a whole day you didn't go without washing your, you went without washing your hand. Think about how dirty your hand would be because you didn't wash it. The same rules apply to your hair and your scalp. You have got to wash your scalp. That's another thing. Just because you don't smell anything, 
doesn't mean the people around you don't smell anything. Um, I've been around people who I can tell they haven't washed their hair. And you know, as, as African Americans, sometimes we don't wash our hair but monthly. Um, because we feel like we don't need to, or we feel, and some people don't sweat in their head, or we feel like um, it's inhibiting our growth. Well, I can, I have a very sensitive nose, and I can smell the dirt on their hair, and it wears me out. I can smell that, that, um, I guess you could say old smell. Um, so even though you probably don't smell it, because it's your smell, everyone around you smells it, believe me. Um... I'm going to stop there because I don't want to get too far off task, but for those of you who don't, who are just conditioning your hair and then styling it, conditioners do not normally have sulfates in them. So you're not removing that buildup and you're, you're just constantly coating your hair, but you're not removing anything so that that conditioner can get where it needs to get to give moisture back to your hair. So you're basically wasting your time with conditioning your hair every week if you're not washing it first. You've got to wash that hair to remove the buildup. Um, and again, if you're using products like this, you're still going to have buildup, like I said before in the video, like I said earlier. But with products that are, have better ingredients like Shea Moisture, a softer, gentler shampoo is all you need to remove buildup. But if you are using cones. If you're using any products that have any kind of cones, the methacone, silicone, anything in, any, anything ending in the word C-O-N-E, X-A-N-E, um, there's another one too, but O-N-E, you need a sulfate to remove that buildup because silicones do not come off with regular shampoo. There has to be a sulfate and mineral oil and petroleum do not come off unless you have something to strip them off, okay? All right, I feel like I beat that horse dead. So hopefully I have and you get it. But if you don't get it, please comment below and ask me questions and we can talk about it some more. I can do a follow-up video. I can give you more education about that. But yeah, if you want your hair to grow, you have to wash it and you have to drink water, but you have to wash your hair. You have to make sure you're removing that buildup and if you want your hair to look to be healthy, you have to wash it to remove that buildup off of the hair strands. With that, I'm going to stop talking. You guys have an awesome day. And as usual, guess what? Aha, look!